The Prime Minister promised to make housing more affordable for Canadians, but we know that wasn't totally true. After eight years of this Liberal government, rent has doubled, housing prices have skyrocketed, in fact, they've doubled as well, and mortgage payments, of course, have gone through the roof. In fact, today, Scotiabank confirmed that mortgage rates have increased by 2 per cent just due to this government's overspending. No other factors considered, just this government's overspending. Mortgage rates have gone up by 2 per cent, which means on average $700 a month extra on a family's mortgage. When will this government do the responsible thing, rein in their spending, so that Canadians can afford to put a roof over their head? Yeah. The Honourable Minister for Housing, Infrastructure and Communities. Mr. Speaker, in order to address the national housing crisis, we're making the investments necessary to get Canada building again. And I have good news for my colleague. It is working. When we look at the Statistics Canada report from yesterday, we see significant increases in the investments in residential construction. In fact, the heading of the section from the report is entitled Strong Gains in Residential Investment, indicating a nearly 8% increase just this past month. We have a plan to continue to cut uh, costs for home builders and to make the investments necessary to get the homes built that the economy and that families who live in it need. The Honourable Member from Lethbridge. I'm not sure what Liberal report the Honourable Member is reading from, but the stat is this. Actually, fewer homes are being built, and investment in the market is down by 14% for new construction. So that's the fact. And out of that, then, rent is doubling for Canadians, mortgages are skyrocketing, and housing prices have also doubled. Canadians can't afford to house themselves. In fact, their mortgage rates are up on average by $700 a month, and that is only due to this government's overspending. Just due to their overspending alone, $700 a month. No other factors considered. Just their overspending. When will they rein it in, do the responsible thing, and allow Canadians to afford a roof over their head? The Honourable Minister for Housing Infrastructure. Mr. Speaker, with respect to my Honourable colleague, she just does not have her numbers right. She is entitled to her own uh, opinion, but certainly not to her own facts. I will tell you specifically what the Stats Canada, which is not some Liberal organization, it operates independently. They indicate that this month investment in residential building went up 7.3 percent. Single family home investment increased 6.4 percent. Multi unit construction rose 8.2 percent. Mr. Speaker, if the Conservatives are concerned about the housing crisis, why why are they committing to cut funding for home building and to raise taxes on home builders? The Honourable Member from Edmonton Riverbend. Mr. Speaker, after eight years of this Prime Minister, rent has doubled, house prices have doubled, and mortgage payments are up 150 per cent. Just now, Statistics Canada shows that investment in housing construction is down 14 per cent. Turns out that photo ops with the housing minister and hard hats don't actually build homes. Who knew? Will the government end their photo op so Canadians can get houses built? Yeah. The Honourable Minister for Housing. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I find it fascinating when there are accusations about using photo ops for political gain when the leader of the Conservative Party, when he was a minister, actually violated election rules for a photo op where he showed up wearing a Conservative Party logo on behalf of the government of Canada. Mr. Speaker, with respect to my Honourable colleague, he has the facts wrong. Stats Canada is indicated that we are actually seeing an increase in housing investments when it comes to the residential sector. Housing starts are up. In fact, we are on pace to build more than 50,000 additional homes over and above the record that the Conservatives achieved while they were in government. Absolutely. The Honourable Member from Edmonton Riverbend. Mr. Speaker, you know what, Mr. Speaker, when the Conservative leader was Minister of Housing, a typical family home costs only $450,000. Investment in housing construction is down 14% under this minister. Rent has doubled, house prices have doubled, and mortgage payments are up 150%. Again, will the government end their photo op so Canadians can get houses built? While the member from Edmonton Riverbend was uh, asking his question, it was difficult for the speaker to hear because of a conversation I was having at the far end of the house. I'm going to ask all members, please, to keep your voices down, to take, to take your microphone when the speaker recognizes you to either ask or to answer a question. The Honourable Government House Leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We know that the Conservatives like to make up facts, but I didn't realize that they were trying to make a new way of doing math. Uh, when statistics